Hi there, Wendy from ECS Coffee here in Burlington. Today I have Rebecca with me. Um, we're going to talk about the Breville Oracle Touch. Uh, so this is an amazing machine that has a 58 millimeter porta filter that allows you to be an at-home barista to do large volume drinks, especially if you want to incorporate uh, really warm milk. It allows you to adjust the temperature here. Um, it is for front loading for the water tank. You can also empty it at the back. And you want to talk about the height? It's uh, an 18 inch high machine. So if you are putting it underneath a cabinet, you do want to make sure you have about 20, 22 inches of clearance so that you can access your bean hopper comfortably, as well as fill the water tank without, um, you know, spilling water everywhere. So I just removed um, the drip tray here just to show you that it is quite a substantial machine. And if you wanted to roll it back and forth, it does allow you to unlock it so it pops up into a wheel and allow you to move the machine around your counter and then you just turn it and it'll lock back down again. So the bean hopper holds a half a pound of coffee and it, it does have screening on it so they won't get the direct light and it has an 84 ounce uh, water tank. Did I say that already? I can't remember. But anyways, it's, you can access it from the back and or fill it from the back full you are as well. At the front, there's a little glass uh, window there, so you aren't guessing your water tank level. You can see it there. Right. So uh, touch screen, which is amazing. Uh, this screen will hold um, eight additional drinks, um, as well as the ones that uh, come standard with the machine. Five pre-programmed and then eight customizable beverages as well. Right. The amazing thing about um, this machine too is that <laughs> you tap it over and it grinds and tamps for you and Rebecca will demonstrate that. Yeah, so we're gonna make first just an espresso, um, start off small. So on my touch screen, I'm just going to select espresso right here. It's the first beverage available on the menu. We've already dialed in this machine, so the grind size is correct. Uh, we do have our double shot basket in. This is available with a single shot basket if you are wanting that as well. Um, so I'm just going to insert this here and uh, grab a cup as well, but I'm just gonna get it grinding. So it's gonna auto grind and then auto tamp for me. Everything's pre-dosed. It's 22 grams for um, a double shot on this machine. So we'll show you after what the puck looks like, but it is nice and dry and firm. And that says a lot about um, the tamp pressure that's coming down through this machine automatically without you having to know much about it. Yes, it does also have what's called a freeway solenoid valve in this machine. So that's going to suck up any excess moisture on the espresso puck so that you do have that dry puck uh, for disposal. Okay, so we'll take this out. Do you want to give them a show at how beautiful that it's is? It's nice and flat, very nice, very level. And then we'll just stick it up in here. Mm -hmm. There okay, we go. Okay, so now we're ready to go and we'll just press brew. Now it's going to count down for us. Um, the pre-infusion? Pre-infusion was around 11 seconds for us on this machine. Uh, you should be between eight and 10, that's ideal. But it was a nice espresso shot. We tasted it earlier. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're using the 1.21, 88 miles per hour. That is roasted here locally at our Burlington location. So this machine is uh, great for the person who, um, you know, wants to look like they know what they're doing, but you don't really have to. It's like having a super automatic, but with the added bonus of having amaz amazing tasting espresso based uh, drinks uh, without having to do much work once the coffee grind is dialed in to suit your bean. Yeah, it's really good for customers that want that cafe quality, especially lattes or cappuccinos because the milk texturizing on this machine is, I mean, you can't compare it. It's absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. yep. So being a dual boiler machine, um, they're a stainless steel dual boiler. Uh, so all the work is also done for you when you're doing a milk-based drink, which we're going to do next as you do your espresso part and then just put your, put your milk frothing jug in. You tell it uh, how many bubbles you want and what temperature you want it so you can get it nice and hot, especially if you're doing larger base milk-based drinks. It makes uh, a difference in uh, North America. We love our big latte um, and flat whites, uh, so this does a phenomenal job. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So we're gonna get the, the milk jug. Do you wanna, oh, milk. I have it over here. Ready? We can just do add milk, right? Yeah. 
So here, oh, it's, yeah. We're going to add the milk in so we can select our froth level. The smaller the number, the smaller the froth. Mm -hmm. The larger the number, the larger the froth. So if we wanted to do somewhere like a flat white latte, it's going to be about a four or five. You can program this all the way up to 170 degrees um, Fahrenheit. Uh, but for us, we're going to keep it at about 150 because that's pretty standard and yeah. what most people like. So the temperature probe is on the end. So you don't have to worry about uh, monitoring it once you've decided what temperature you want to brew your milk at. Yeah, you can actually see the temperature rising right here on the screen. Um, so you'll know exactly when it's done. It's very, very exact in terms of mm -hmm. temperature. So what you're doing different here is then you're just going to incorporate it together in a super automatic. It would put it into the cup for you. This way it does the perfect espresso, the perfect milk at the right temperature, and then you just put it together. That's where you feel like you're the barista. Mm -hmm. While we're waiting for that, why don't you just show them how easy the puck knocks out? Uh, yes. And how nice and dry it is. Yeah. So we've, uh, you know, brewed our espresso, and now, and out. Mm -hmm. And this machine does come with the mini knock box, and usually that would be an extra purchase, um, so it's a really nice add-on um, mm -hmm. with this machine. Yeah, also comes with a milk pitcher too. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, water, milk, and beans, you're good to go. Exactly. So it does an auto purge, as uh, Rebecca was talking about, three-way solenoid valve. You'll see steam come out, and this water tray will fill up because it is releasing the steam. Um, the auto purge is just for the inside. Um, you have to, with any um, Panarello or milk wand, you have to do it yourself. Rebecca may be able to get some uh, yeah, we can try. art out of this because, you know, me, me and my blobs. Okay. There you go. Let's give this a go. <laughs> Let's see. Well, oh, wow. Oh. It's a blob. <laughs> <laughs> I could have done that. It's Just kidding. It's a Wendy's specialty. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks really good, though. Um, it's a very, very nice microphone. I'm not sure if you can see, but it has very minimal bubbles. This is what you get when you purchase a machine at this level is this quality of foam, this quality of espresso. It's like being at a cafe and right. you feel like you're doing a little bit of the work, which is kind of nice too. Right. Um, so the uh, drinks that you can program into here, you can name also just so you know if you have your favorite flat white, it's just a little bit warmer than the next person in your family. You can, you can do that and then when you scroll through from the menu, it will hold it in there and you can change the temperature um, on this machine to um, in the settings menu to the top right here. Um, you can see a few people here have, have just numbered their drinks. One, uh, I did have one in here. I have since removed it since my name would be on every machine in here. <laughs> I love my flat whites. Every so, flat white. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, and in this menu here, everything's automatic. So you have some nice automatic cleaning features with this machine as well as since this does have a five minute heat up time it does have an auto on feature which is quite nice so you program that to be ready uh, for when you wake up your machine's all heated and ready to go a little bit uh, longer of a heat up time than the smaller brevels because of the dual boiler and it is a larger tank it just takes that length of time to heat up so it's great that you can program it to come on or if it's the first thing you do when you come down to the kitchen just turn it on the five minutes will go by yeah. Yeah. in no time all right, any questions, you can uh, hit us up below. Um, if you like us, give us a thumbs up. Um, great to talk to you again. I uh, hope to see uh, people starting to trickle back in the next few weeks. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.